lesson one of the series of Rookie Tutorials, you saw where everything was located within the Final Cut window. In that last session, you renamed the Untitled Library and Event in the Library sidebar. This time, I'll get you to create a new library from the File menu. The course material and the completed Final Cut Library are downloadable. Check in the description below. Click the eye above to access Lesson 1 that has the details on how to download this. Now, select File New Library, select the Finder location you'd like to save that library, and let's call it My First Edit. And as you saw in the last lesson, an event is also created with today's date. Change the name of the event also to My First Edit. Now it's time to start importing the footage that you downloaded from my website. If you've not done so already, the link is in the description below. It'll allow you to access the video, audio and photo content so you can follow along with this lesson on your computer. Take the time out now. You can import the media by using the downward arrow, which will open an import window so that you can select what you want to import into Final Cut. If you'd like to see how to do that, click the eye above for a video that covers that method. The description in that video, in the timestamps, has import footage at 1 minute and 56. But for this exercise, you're going to import by dragging the files from the folder that you've downloaded from my site. Select the My First Edit event, and from the Finder, drag the Sample Media folder into the browser window. The media is going to show as film strips in that browser window. Hover the pointer over these to skim. At any time, you can press the spacebar to play in the viewer, and press the spacebar again to pause. You can increase or decrease the amount of the film strip that you're viewing by selecting the film strip button and dragging the duration slider. If you prefer, you can see the clips as a list. Click the button looking like a stack to the right of the words All Clips. When a clip is selected, the film strip appears at the top of the browser, and you can skim in that just like you did in the film strip view. Click the Stack button to go back to the film strip view. You can also import photos from your Photos app and music from your Music app. That's what was originally known as iTunes. Click the Music Note button and click on Music. There will be a short delay while the connection takes place to the music. When the list does appear, select the Music Note in the middle at the top of the window and you see the albums in your iTunes library. Select a music track or Command plus click any number of them and drag into your timeline. To access photos, Click the photos at the far left and there'll be a similar short delay while that connection's being made. Select albums or all photos, command plus click any number of photos and drag them into your timeline. In the next tutorial, we'll get started with an actual edit. If you're looking for a one-on-one -on -one tuition in Final Cut Pro, just click on trainingfinalcutpro.com. I'll be happy to set up a personalised training program for you. But if you're just looking for answers on a specific topic, I also offer free Final Cut Pro support via email. That's for urgent issues as you're confronted with them. Click the eye above for the link to my free support site. Let me know in the comments below if you've got areas that you struggle with in Final Cut, and I'd be happy to produce a video to help you solve those issues. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and press the bell. There are new videos every Sunday.